I'm Amy from She Cooks, She Eats. And I'm Ashley from Peachtrees and Bumblebees. And we're going to show you how to make truffles. So, basically all you need to do is make some chocolate ganache. And there is a recipe up there. If you are going to use that method for making ganache, that's absolutely fine. But I would change the proportions slightly. Because when we make that ganache, we're making it to, say, ice cakes, you will need to make sure that your ganache for making truffles is a little bit thicker. Instead of having equal parts cream to chocolate, I would have twice as much chocolate as you have cream. For, for this kind of truffle, you can add any sort of flavouring you like to the ganache. So alcohol, mm -hmm. or you could add some like strawberry flavouring, or yeah. some orange zest, or some, some nuts maybe? Yeah, if you, if you cut very small fine nuts, you yeah. could add nuts. Possibly these are in, you put whatever you want in. Um, go wild. Yeah, go wild. Once you've got your ganache with whatever flavouring you'd like, um, you need to pop it into a piping bag. I highly recommend getting disposable piping bags because they are a pain in the ass to clean. For these, um, we're just going to cut a bit off the end so we can fill it before we cut the end off, which is fine. Um, the trick of it is to create a sort of, sorry, here we go, create a cone shape with your hand and then basically pull it around the hand and then open up your hand. Open it up so you've got inside. Yes. And then uh, using our helpful assistant or whoever you've got nearby. If you don't have a helpful assistant, by the way, I usually pop this in a pint glass and then do exactly the same thing. Yeah. Just wrap it around the outside of the pint glass. You literally scrape, pour it into the bag, woo, carefully, clearly, and scrape it on your friend's finger. If you are doing this with a friend, when you get to the final few and you want to clear your spatula off, if you ask them to close their hand around the spatula, that's a good way of scraping it off. We'll show you that in a sec. Yep. I really would recommend wearing an apron while you do this because this messy. I'm already getting covered in chocolate and uh, when Amy and I went to the chocolate workshop I couldn't believe how covered in chocolate we were when we left. So there you go, if you'd like to scrape. Remember just pull this up and give it a little shake. I've seen a thing at um, when I was at cooking school for a week and swing it like that a few times. <laughs> And then it gets right into the point and you get rid of any air bubbles. And then um, taking your hand like this, you want to scrape it down like that and that is how you want to hold it. You can run it around and tie it off and pick it away however you choose, it's kind of a personal thing. Always hold it in your dominant hand as well. If you're left handed, put it in your left hand. You want to hold it with your dominant hand and steer it with the other one. So chop it off about half a size per mm -hmm. Yeah, this is way too liquidy. Ours is too liquid, our ganache. You can see it all splurged out when we cut it. We just want to pop it in the fridge for five minutes to cool down. Taking your piping bag and holding it that way so you've got control, um, you need to pipe out some blobs depending on how big you want them to be for your truffles. So then you literally just pipe out, oops, it's not a very neat version. Pipe out, <laughs> that looks rubbish. It's all right. Pipe out little blobs. They don't have to be perfect in shape, don't worry, you will make them into... <laughs> they don't have to be perfect at all. Squitch. That's a bit better. And... Squitch. There we go. It's warmed up a bit now, so it's a bit easier. And... Squitch. Squitch. I'm going to completely mess this up. I'm not as good as paper as Ashley. They will get harder to pipe towards the end because as the heat from your hand warms the mixture up, by the end they'll be very sloppy, which is what we've got here. That's absolutely fine, you can leave them to cool in the fridge again to harden them up if you need to. But, ta-da! Tray of truffles. So, I mean, it's quite an interesting journey actually because these initial ones, which are the first ones I did, when they were still very, very cold, were very difficult to pipe and they looked you can rubbish. see how hard they are. And they were already pretty much solid. Um, <laughs> Whereas right. that one, this is the last one I did. <laughs> It's, it's liquid. <laughs> yeah, don't worry if they look rubbish. It, genuinely, they will not look like that forever. Now we let them set. But if you want to speed things along, you can put them in the fridge for about five or six minutes. That should firm them up nicely. And then you need to prepare some things in which to roll them or dip them. You can use um, chocolate, melted chocolate, if you like to dip them in that. I would recommend tempering the chocolate first. What we've got here is some cocoa and some biscuit coconut. Um, these are both really easy to use. We're also going to use some popping candy that Ashley just found in her cupboard because we thought that would be quite a fun thing to do. So now they've become quite nice and solid, we can shape them into truffle shapes. Um, so I've just picked up this one. This one has been in the fridge, so it's it's really quite hard, um, and they will melt quickly in your fingertips. So you can touch your fingertips to um, to some cocoa or something to try and get them to not to be too sticky. But you basically just using your fingertips only and don't touch your palms. 
literally just shape them like like that into little truffle shapes drop them into whatever you want to cover them in this is cocoa roll them around a little bit and then voila truffle here is my truffle like Ashley said I'm just rolling it around in the coconut to make a little coconut truffle pick up a truffle drop it in the coconut kind of play with it pile the coconut on top roll it around a bit and then when it looks like it's pretty decently covered just pick it up shake off the excess coconut truffle uh, the great thing about ganache truffles is that they do last quite a long time so out of the fridge they've got about three days of shelf life if you keep them in the fridge they'll last for about three weeks um, but we would recommend taking them out of the fridge about two hours before you want to eat them because they are best when served at room temperature yeah, use really high quality chocolate we made two batches one with 70 percent lint and one with what was it it was just tesco's own cooking chocolate and the tesco's own cooking chocolate ones have not turned out anywhere near as no, well they're a bit grim Ta-da! look at our truffles one of these ready one two three mm. Mm. Okay. super easy really good for gifts and quite fun to make as well really fun to make they're all great fun See you next time. Bye.